Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. Finally going to get my Morgan Dollar Collection updated, remastered as I like to say, and with the new lighting kit, I'm going to break out all my raw coins and uh, see what they really look like without the glare of the airtight around them. So, as many of you have known, I've been saying for some time I've been wanting to get this video redone. I've had some additions. Um, and I've replaced some of my cleaned ones with some originals. Well, non-cleaned, I should say. So, I've decided to go ahead and do this in some parts instead of making one long video. Although, there will be a long video when I put everything together, if you wish to watch that. But at, all, at the top there is all my raw. And I have all my graded at the bottom. I am two dates away from having a date set. I need the 1893 and the 1895. And I'm about midway to a little bit over 50% of having the complete business strike. It contains two Carson cities and a Redfield. So, let's sit back and enjoy the ride. Silver Steeler here with segment four of the Morgan Dollar Collection. And there will only be three coins in this particular segment two Carson cities and a Redfield right here in front is an 1882 Carson City a GSA holder they minted 1,133,000 of these um, you think hey that's relatively rare and you'd be correct the only problem was is they found a horde of them in bank vaults and uh, almost all of them survived in great condition so a coin like this, you know, from App Max or somewhere, it cost you a couple hundred bucks. I think I paid 190 for mine. I just really wanted to have a Carson City. And there you go. There's the CC on the bottom. Every Morgan Dollar collector's got to have a couple of CCs on hand. They're the most treasured Morgan of them all. So there you go, there's the 1882 Carson City. On to the next coin. 1884 Carson City in the GSA, uncirculated silver dollar GSA holder. Um, in that year, they minted 1,136,000 of them. So again, a lot of them survived. They were found in that bank vault. And so, a relatively easy one to get. Again, around a couple hundred dollars. And it's just always nice to see a few of these with that CC mint mark on the bottom. Beautiful coin. They had very bold strikes, very much like San Francisco. And they are the most sought after Morgans of them all. So there you go. There's you in 1884, Carson City. On to the next one. Okay, last but not least, to end my Morgan Dollar collection happens to be my favorite one. The 1879 San Francisco from the Redfield Collection. And it's got to say from the Redfield Collection. Because these Paramount holders, they had so many left over from when they did the Redfield Collection... They started coining other Morgans that weren't from the Redfield collection in them. And to this day, there's a lot of, you know, misconceptions about it being from the Redfield. But if it doesn't say Redfield on it, it's not a Redfield. They also separated them. They didn't really have an MS grading system at the time. So the separation was just in its infancy about trying to go for what graded what. And so this one says Mint State 65. I don't know. Mrs. Silver Steeler and I have a usual disagreement about this. I think it's a 64. She thinks it's a 65. You know, you can get these graded now, particularly by NGC, which will just put a, a, a ribbon around the bottom and preserve the holder. You know, PCGS likes to take these things out of the holders and put them in their own. And I want to keep mine in its original holder just because it's getting all the toning around the edge from that. And who knows? Maybe this Redfield will be red one day so here's that there's the reverse 
Now, I picked this up at my LCS for $80, and I see these things go for a couple hundred, two to three hundred dollars. And it is just the obverse almost can be proof like with the toning that goes around it. Just a beautiful coin. One of my favorite. I, I hope to pick up more of these Redfields. I love the story. If you if you don't know about the Redfield story, look it up sometime. He's an interesting character, that's for sure. So this brings this Morgan Dollar collection to an end. I will update this occasionally. I'm not going to go through them all again until I get quite a few more on hand. But I think this will settle it. I think I, I got them on video the best way that I could. Those GSAs were a little bit of pain, but they're highly reflective. But, uh, you know, there you go. There's my Morgan Dollar collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.